Good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's been definitely a while uh, since I've been last active on this channel. A uh, mixture of circumstances, uh, work, family, etc. But let's not find excuses. When I started this YouTube channel, we were in the middle of the first lockdown. So gyms were shut, options were limited, and I ended up with um, some home workout, which I filmed for you and edited and ever since life came back to normal uh, I've been stuck and busy doing other things but that doesn't mean that I haven't been working out I've been working out with my normal uh, schedule so normal schedule for me uh, means that I'm working out four to five times a week uh, depending on my work in all this time I've been trying uh, different things uh, different um, routines uh, different splits but the only thing I feel like I'm lacking massively at the moment it's uh, my food and my diet unfortunately uh, even since the lockdown videos um, I did put up quite a lot of weight so my main goal at this point is to reduce body fat uh, by this I don't mean that I'm cutting um, let's call it maybe a mini cut but I uh, will watch my uh, food and my diet a lot more uh, rigorously because um, I just passed 30 and I do feel that it's getting harder and harder to keep my body fat down and keep in shape um, although strength is where it should be uh, it's absolutely perfect if anything I become a lot stronger since we back to normal after lockdowns so for the last two years i felt a significant improvement in um, strength and power but the downside of, uh, of all that i guess is gaining body fat since last week i started a new split as well um, new split for me it's basically the og push pull legs uh, the main reason for the new split is that this time I'm trying to work every single muscle as many times as possible and as often as possible. Again, because of work, I won't be able to hit every single muscle every three days as if would probably be ideal as a natural bodybuilder. But in my opinion, it's, um, it's a lot better than other splits where you can only train every single muscle uh, every five to six days maybe so the start of any good uh, workout day in my opinion it's a substantial and nutritious breakfast because it's very very important um, how you fuel your body if you have uh, expectations if you want to perform um, at your absolute peak i'm very very simple individual in terms of food uh, i would say kind of lazy as well so my ideal breakfast 99 percent of the time it's uh, eggs and oats uh, eggs in form of omelette um, most of the time sometimes i um, make poached egg so I can put that uh, on a slice of wholemeal bread and avocado um, other times I just uh, cook a five egg omelette I put some uh, spring onions in it or onions and garlic just to enhance the flavor just to be a bit more enjoyable um, rarely uh, I add cheese as well but at the moment cheese is a massive no-no because of the calorie intake uh, what you need to know about me is that I cannot stand eggs without bread so the only option I have right now is a slice of wholemeal bread, bread to, to go with uh, the omelette otherwise I would not be able to, <coughs> to eat the omelette. If I'm eating oats or porridge I have a video in the description below, an old video now, uh, which I, I've done during the first lockdown. Basically I am uh, cooking the porridge in the microwave so it's quick because I'm lazy and I love uh, to make it simple and then I add uh, protein with uh, the whey protein powder and um, I add some walnuts I add some dark chocolate so a little bit extra flavor and then for a little bit of texture I add some uh, protein uh, cereal uh, there are a couple of protein cereals you can buy there is one um, you can buy in supermarkets uh, done by Nestle and there is another one which you can buy online 
Uh, I don't have it at the moment, so I can't show you, but these are the two I use. So again, um, oatmeal, uh, when it's cooked, I add uh, dark chocolate, will melt. I add uh, three to four walnuts, um, some cinnamon. I mix it all together, protein powder, Will, which will mix perfectly in, in the uh, warm porridge. It's going to be like a pudding basically. And you have your carbs, you have your healthy fats, and you also have uh, your uh, protein in there. But again, if you would like to see that, um, I have the link where I was actually cooking it. But today I will have a five egg omelet, very, very simple. I will add some spring onions, garlic, um, or just normal onion, whatever I find in house and slice of uh, wholemeal bread. I also found that if I have omelette and not the porridge as a breakfast, I don't need as much time uh, before I can hit the gym. I feel like um, I digest it a lot easier and my stomach is a lot emptier comparing to when I have the porridge, which I feel like it's kind, kind of um, blowing me up a little bit. Uh, it's not major because it only needs an hour and a half and then you feel perfect and obviously because it's oats it's uh, a long releasing carb so it's beneficial in the long term uh, but I feel like if I want to hit the gym as soon as possible after breakfast I will have the five egg omelette with the um, wholemeal bread and uh, let's not forget I always add um, fresh vegetable of some sort, that can be tomato, that can be cucumber. Again, what I find in house to make it as quick as possible and then we are ready to hit the gym. My name is Laszlo, I'm a natural bodybuilder. Let's cook this breakfast and then let's hit the gym. Okay, so we're on our way to the gym now. Uh, what you need to know about me is that I work full time in a restaurant, okay? So that is an active job uh, requiring me working 10 hours plus sometimes. So ideally, I would love to put my uh, leg workout and the pool because of the back muscle, which is very big on, um, on my days off. So doesn't matter if my second leg workout and back workout is not on my day off but at least one on my whole week schedule has to be done on my day off because of the recovery time because of my um, meals and just in average because of my energy level so yesterday i've done legs turned out really really well uh, today is going to be uh, a pool workout which will include uh, back, will include bicep, and a little bit of uh, real delts as well. It's fairly early, um, around 11 o'clock, it should be all right. Any other time, let's say afternoon or early evening, it's an absolute nightmare to get into this gym. So trying to film it as well, is not gonna work otherwise. So we do our best to be as early as possible. So in terms of warm-up, I always do top to bottom. So I start with, with neck, with traps, shoulders. I do lower back and then on uh, leg days, I will put more emphasis on, um, on the lower back so I can block more exercises. But today it's just going to be uh, neck, trap, shoulders, and just a little bit of lower back to loosen up. And then we are ready to hit the pool leg.
That's it. Challenge number one, getting the wraps done. So for the first exercise, we try um, barbell bent over roll. Um, this is really good exercise to work the whole back, the lats, the uh, lower back, the traps as well. So it's a good compound to start with. And from this one, you can take it either to a lat focus workout, you can take it to like a thickness focus workout, but to start with, this is brilliant. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the so regarding to correct form, obviously, um, ideal form, chest out. When you bend and pull it, shoulders back as much as possible. So you don't engage bicep, you engage the back more. And that's pretty much it, as simple as that. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day ones. Try to speak up, can't say none. Try to dig dirt, there ain't none. I just wanted to mention that this is the only exercise today uh, of which we're doing four sets. Everything else is going to be three sets. The reason uh, for that is because that was the first exercise we did, and the very first set counted as a warm up set, so didn't count as working set. So we had one, we had one warm up set, and we will have three working sets on that and then we're good to move on to the next exercise. Okay. So for second exercise, we do pull-ups. So obviously I'll carry on with the um, Lat focus workout. Um, it needs to be some sort of lat pull down or pull up. Today I will do pull up with no neutral grip because um, lately I've been using a lot of uh, pronated, so probably no, I'm pretty sure it's a good thing to mix it up time to time. So I will crack on doing some uh, body weight pull ups and then we'll see what we have available. So you might be wondering why I'm wearing these from the beginning. I'm wearing wrist straps because probably after the third, fourth exercise on the pool workout, my forearms would be absolutely roasted. So I don't want that my workout be damaged by a lack of uh, forearm strength. So I'd rather focus on the muscle and actual training and ignore the forearms as much as I can. So this is just help basically. Cable face pulls. Try to focus on uh, more like a connection of the mid, back, and traps. So that's right before we do the next um, exercise, which will be traps actually. So let's go.
terribly sorry. We have to interrupt this video here for a second. Unfortunately, um, our microphone system decided to run out of battery. So we lost the voice recording for the rest of the session. And therefore, I will um, do voiceover for you instead. So from Facebook we move straight to shrugs. Uh, my favorite way of doing shrugs is with the hex bar because this is simply giving you the best range of motion in my opinion. Both the uh, barbell and the dumbbell shrugs are quite limited in range of motion. So with this one you will definitely feel it next day. Also you can use quite a lot of weight. Four sets, uh, rep range between uh, 8 and 12, gradually increasing the weight. Then we moved over to a bit of real delts. I love training the real delts on pull days rather than the push when I'm uh, training the rest of the shoulders. Today we did uh, cable uh, crossover. With this one it's very, very important to keep the pressure on the real delt during the whole uh, movement and at the front part of the movement when you have your hands in front of you try to slightly reach forward and push your shoulders down as much as you can. After we finished with real delts, we moved over to the last two exercises. So the first one is the seated dumbbell curls. This one very, very important to lay back and then let your arms hanging down. So you have like a crazy stretch in, in the bottom part of the movement. I only did three sets, uh, rep range between eight and 10. For the last exercise we did the notorious single arm pressure uh, curls when you get to this one you already feel that the bicep is hugely fatigued from the pull already uh, what i normally do start with a slow, smaller weight uh, gradually increasing but trying to do the last two sets towards failure and the failure should come between six and eight reps. Obviously, when you're struggling, as you can see me here as well, try to support with the uh, rest in hand so you can do the last rep and focus in on the negative uh, part of the movement on the way back. And with these guys, the pool day is pretty much done. If you are new to my channel, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well for future content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.